chest. Okay, this ain't that type of video. Today we're gonna to be ranking every chest in Clash Royale in tiers D, C, B, A, S, and SS. There's not gonna be any F because I don't think any of the chests are that bad. I mean, some of them are worse than others, but F tier, I don't know. Also, this is not like 100% stat based. Some of it is indeed my opinion, regardless of numbers, but still, I am gonna try and consider the stats anyways. And finally, Join my Discord. Okay, so first chest is the silver chest. This is definitely the worst and most annoying chest in the game. I mean, you get cards and all, but they ain't sh and tend to back up your progress because they take three hours. If your chest slots fill up with the sad excuse for a chest, you basically gotta wait 12 hours for the real chest. And honestly, it'd be better if these chests were instant open, like the Pass Royale ones. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I'm sorry buddy, you just saying it. Wooden chest. Now, I originally wanted to put this chest at C because memes. But if we put all of that to the side, the chest is actually fairly bad. Like I know the legendary drop rate was higher on these than the silver chest and there's a lot of good memories around this chest but it really wasn't all that. The only reason we remember it being so good is simply because it was amazing to see a legendary out of a wooden chest. Not because the chest was godly, you know? So yeah, unfortunately this is gonna be at the lowest tier. Legendary King's Chest. The King's Chest, big brother. This is certainly not the best of the best, but it's 90% there, so I think S tier is appropriate. This is pretty much the best chest you can buy anytime, anywhere, and it definitely feels nice when you get it from a battle or a challenge. Gold Chest. Y'all are probably gonna hate me for putting this next to the wooden and silver, as they don't really compare, but I couldn't make myself put this at C. I mean, it's literally dog shit compared to the big boys. It is better than all of the other chests at D, so I'm gonna put this at the very beginning. Legendary chest. Over time, this chest has become less and less worth it, but one thing that hasn't changed is the consistency of always providing one legendary. It never gets old. It's simple, fast, and only costs five bucks. Although, I don't think it's an S tier because there's just way too many legendaries and you can't even buy it whenever you want, but I would much rather pay the gems to unlock it when you finally get it from a match, not buy it. Giant Chest The first actually good chest in the chest cycle is Beefed Up Woody, the Giant Chest. Now it's not amazing, but certainly better than getting silver and gold chests. You get a pretty decent amount of gold and cards, and the legendary rate on these is most likely significantly higher. Although, I do have one complaint, and it's the unlock time. King's Chest This is the smaller version of the legendary King's Chest, and I think it basically removes all of the good things about the better chest. It does not guarantee a legendary, and in terms of stats, it's equivalent to a giant chest with more epics. I think it's a little cheaper than the legendary king's chest, but I don't think it's as worth it. Fortune chest. Yeah, it's better than the giant chest and all, but honestly, this chest felt like a cash grab since day one. If you see a legendary you want, you gotta pay $7 for a 10% shot at it. It's only at C because it's a decent chest in terms of cards and gold, but like, it ain't all that. Someone did let me know you can pull a champion from these, but it seems the odds are pretty low as well. It's basically a modified magical chest that spoils half the fun and gives false expectations. Magical chest. Speaking of modified magical chest, the actual magical chest that was in its spot a few years back is actually better in terms of the amount of epics you get, but also has a higher chance of a legendary at 14%. I would have much rather have kept all of the chests in the shop, but Supercell loves playing with our feelings. Like that one time they nuked the game with Clan Wars 2.0. Yeah. Anyways, decent chest. Crown chest. I think these are the same as the gold chest, but you get these from the pass, and before the pass, you used to get them from, well, 
getting crowns. I mean, you still get them by getting crowns, but it was a little different before. I mean, it was hard picking where to put this. I'm gonna have to put it somewhere in C or D, I don't know. I just can't really see this being any higher than that. Epic chest. It's not like amazing, but the epic chest is pretty sweet. You get like 20 epics, which equals to about 10,000 gold. It'd be better if these had strikes though, because you rarely get what you actually want, but it's whatever. Definitely a C tier chest for me. Clan chest. This chest isn't in the game anymore, but when it used to be, it was pretty lit. It had double the amount of cards as a magical chest at the time and a 10% chance of getting a legendary, so definitely do not confuse this with a better crown chest because it was honestly way better. Sure, it took some effort to get the highest clan chest, but it was actually fun. I just wish Supercell would have kept this in the game because I don't like that thing they do where they add something new and they remove the old stuff, like why? You just, it ain't broken, it's fun. Super Magical Chest. Formerly the best chest in the game is already being forgotten as it was replaced by the Mega Lightning Chest and Although I hate when Supercell does this, like I said, I'm not so bothered about this one. The chests are essentially the same, except the Mega Lightning Chest has strikes. But yeah, Super Magical Chest, definitely A tier. Lightning Chest. I know it's not as bad as a silver chest, but it might as well be because I hated these things. The only good thing about them was the strikes. The chest has a 1% chance of a legendary. That's ass. I don't know who's out here buying these. I'd rather gem open a decent chest. Mega Lightning Chest. Unlike the small lightning chest, you can actually get these by just playing the game, like you can get it from a match. So it's much more valuable. It guarantees a legendary after a certain point, tons of cards, decent amount of gold, and I can't put it higher because there's just way better chest, but definitely an A tier chest for me. Gold Crates. I love the idea of gold only chests, but the fact that these take 3, 6, and 12 hours respectively is a turn off. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but yeah. I want to say one thing though, and I think the overflowing chest is definitely a great one. Even though you don't get any cards, gold is worth a lot. And maybe an A would be nice for the highest gold crate. And then the smaller crates would be somewhere around B. Battle chest. I'm pretty sure this was the same as the clan chest, just a different event. I mean, they may have been a little different, but I don't remember them being as different as comparing a dog to a f***ing dinosaur, so the same tier as the clan chest seems okay to me. Oh, and yeah, it was removed, RIP. Clan war chest. I gotta be honest, I know nothing about Clan Wars 2.0 because I refuse to try it, so I asked Discord and someone said A or B. I looked at the stats for the highest chest you can get and it turns out it's very similar to a Legendary King's chest, but that's only the best chest. The worst chest seems to be fair with a Lightning chest. So I'm a little confused on where to put these. I'm gonna split these into two in this case, putting the best chest at S and the worst at D. I'm not sure if I'm picking the correct pictures for these, but yeah, you know what I mean. Also, shout out to Rai Yoshi. He was a tremendous help with this list. It was very nice to get second opinions from someone else. So uh, yeah. Clan Wars Boot. Again, this varies depending on how you did in the war. It seems the gold and cards in these are pretty low though, so I think I'm gonna put it at C, simply because I don't want to go as low as D for what I assume is free gold. So, um, yeah. 2016 First Place Tournament Chest. I actually had to make a new tier for this chest because even though it doesn't exist anymore, it was undeniably the best chest in Clash Royale and nothing will ever come close to it. You guys already know, 15,000 cards up to 105,000 gold. Yeah, I believe at one point someone got 16 legendaries from one of these. 16 in one chest. That was crazy in 2016 and still crazy in 2022. Now there were more than just one, like the second place, third, but I decided not to go into it because the chest doesn't exist. I just really wanted to include the first place chest and see where it's stacked up against chest today. Draft chest. Another removed chest is the draft chest, unless you get it from a pack 
I'm not sure if those still exist, but yeah. We're not going to be talking about the pack though, because I have no idea the stats of that chest. So I'm just going to stick to the stats of when you would actually get this chest when the season reset. Okay, so in terms of numbers, it compared well with a magical chest, but that was the lowest chest for Challenger 1. If you went all the way up to Ultimate Champion, the chest had about the same amount of gold in the highest overflowing gold crate and about one and a half times more cards than a Legendary King's chest at about 500. It's a little hard to place this one with those kind of numbers varying between chests, but if you got the highest chest possible, I would definitely put this at S tier. In fact, it'll probably be at the very beginning of S tier. The lowest draft chest I'll put at the same tier as the magical chest. Classic challenge chest. If you manage to beat 12 players, you would get a chest equivalent to a crown chest, which is a little sad. It's not horrible though, so I don't want to put it at D, but like, you should only play this challenge if you're just trying to practice for the grand challenge. I'm gonna put this at the very end of C. It was almost D. Grand challenge chest. Speaking of grand challenge, the chest for this one is insane compared to any chest currently in the game. I had to put it at the SS tier, and I know it doesn't quite match up with the 2016 tournament chest, but it is still the best chest in the game in terms of gold, cards, and legendary drop rate. So yeah, that explains the SS tier. It is basically the same chest as the uh, first place, but without the number one on it. Royal Wild Chest. This chest had a surprisingly low number of cards, but the nature of the chest really makes up for it. You get all wild cards, which pretty much means you can pick what cards you get, once you actually use those wild cards. I mean, that right there is 10 times better than strikes. Also, the gold you get is comparable to a maxed out overflowing gold crate. Finally, it guarantees a champion at level 14. I'm gonna have to put this at the second spot in the S tier. I still believe the highest is draft. I'm pretty sure if that highest draft chest existed today, it would definitely guarantee a champion as well. There's actually a few more chests I forgot to mention, and it's the Pass Rail variant of chest, which was basically the same chest, but with strikes. I'm gonna have to put all of these at the same tier as their original chest, except for two of them. So the Epic chest, I feel like it can be very helpful to have those strikes, and I'm gonna put it a tier higher. As for the rare chest, this chest doesn't even exist anymore. This was an exclusive chest for Pass Royale before magic items existed. And I think I did a Mythbusters video for this as well, that one time where I tried to see if you can get a legendary from a rare chest. Yeah, you can actually get a legendary from a rare chest. It is a very unique chest and rares are often more annoying to get because of how many there are. So I'm gonna have to go with B tier. So guys, I think that should be it. I hope I did not miss a chest. I feel like I did, but it's whatever. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't include all the variants of one chest because some chests have different variants. But yeah, I tried to fit it all in one list and I hope I got all the important ones. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.